What is up, everyone? It's me, Mahmoud, and today this conversation is gonna be about something else entirely, and it's gonna be like a very different conversation that I honestly did not want to let it go without being covered, and. It's most of you or most of you well I'm gonna give you a hint. Sports fans, you all will know what I might be talking about right now. That's right. And my whole life as an ex football fan or an ex soccer fan whoever however you wanna call it I um I've never been this like, you know, affected and impressed, like, basically, on real, honestly, I fucking thought that Messi was gonna rust as badly as Ronaldo, right, like, CR7 or Cristiano Ronaldo has been beaten up very bad by Mar- Marco with one goal. And he couldn't, like, even make a single tie. And he came out of there crying out. But, and I thought, well, yeah. Messi was gonna rust as well. Let's be real. The legends are dead. But, today I was proven wrong. Real wrong. Messi actually won. And by the penalty. And he truly deserved that World Cup title in his life as a as a soccer player, you know. Like honestly, like I've always been impressed by Messi's amazing goals and whatsoever. Like and if, and as as an Arab and as an and as an Arab living in a country that isn't got Qatar I was I was quite touched by the fact that he was able to wear the uh, the Middle Eastern type of rope and it's something that no one has ever had in like pretty much the history and from the a prince of Qatar himself, uh, the prince Tamim. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Tamim. Like, wow, just wow. And the whole match, like it was on fire. Both of them were on fire, and Messi was was almost like tired and like you know, completely worn out. And boy, boy, did his team really did a great job for him. And the and I I'm and I'm gonna have to give credit for the French team as well. I mean, they really made, did a and made a fine match as well. Like both like both of the teams were really on fire on each other. Like the amount of misses and. You know, the defense and whatsoever, and the amount of corners and crazy ass fouls and whatsoever. Yo, that shit was crazy. Real crazy. And I saw that one of them was gonna be going out with a goal in one of these uh, extra time. But then it had to be settled at the penalties. And and like a real huge thanks to uh he was pretty much called martinez shit i just forgot but the moment i saw him like dealing that uh, that that penalty the finishing penalty i was like yo the fucking match is over let's fucking go and 
And this is coming from a guy who didn't like football ever since World Cup 2014. It was a fucking disaster. And from that point, I stopped watching football. And I kept on with that along with the whole cup. And I didn't give a shit that much about soccer before. And I honestly never thought I would be talking about soccer on YouTube and whatsoever. But honestly, this moment, Messi's win of the World Cup, the um, the Argentinian teams like absolutely well earned uh, you know possession of the cup and the other prizes so goddamn touching that I could have let it go and just wow like for real wow like and yeah, yo like in a matter of fact I I was even touched by the by the moment when uh, pretty much you know, the the late president of the I mean the late uh, captain of the Argentinian team hugging Di Maria. Like if there was one thing that I truly hated and like bucked me up in the whole match, is that uh, Solanco decided to. Get Mar Di Maria out of it, like, yo, you almost fucked up the whole team, bro. But with God's blessing, Argentina actually was able to maintain a very good defense from France's crazy ass tactics. Like, I could tell that they were very enraged with that duo, you know. And yeah, it was so fucking, it's so fucking touching, so fucking amazing. Most of you would be like, so now that you are, now that you have been partially inspired, would you actually care to move and whatsoever? Well, I'm going to be real honest. Those who would expect that I would be inspired by Messi's win of the World Cup nowadays, uh, I would unfortunately have to disappoint and say no. I wouldn't be inspired this much because being as f now being as famous as Messi or anyone like her, I mean like him, fuck, I can't really talk properly, but anyways. Being as famous as Messi these days is like a huge impossibility. Like you know, like in absolutely in a country like in a country like Egypt with you know a shitty stuff inside it, it's impossible to be as famous as I am. It could take you years from now. It could take you months. It could take you only a few days, and you could get like top uh, top 10 or top 15 in I don't know somewhere in an eSports or whatsoever but yeah like for real Lionel Messi has sealed the deal really and I'm, I've never been this happy in my life for for a team Especially of a team that I once like loved with a player that I again once loved and honestly doubted in from like a very long time, especially ever since uh, Brazil 2014. It was quite crazy and amazing. Like, it's such an amazing and a well-earned win. And Lionel, Lionel Messi, please, please give, give yourself a very good vacation with your wife, with your kids, by yourself, with even the whole team, with even Di Maria himself or with the coach. Get yourself a fine break. You deserved it, my man. You deserved it. From an ex-football fan 
to the best football player of all. And no one can convince me otherwise. Now, that's it for me. And I'm going to see you all in other stuff that isn't going to be football anymore. <laughs> okay, see you all later.